All right, here we go. Setting up your online storefront. Uh, this is episode three. We are in settings now. So uh, once you have logged in, we're going to settings and we're going under agency preferences, select your plans. So the first episode we talked about agent of record IDs and why that's so important. And that's when a consumer applies for an online application. Uh, before it goes to the carrier, it stamps your information right there on the application before it actually gets to the carrier. So that's important. That was uh, number one. Number two, the online application settings. So that is where we talked about going to each of the broker portals and getting your own personalized website link. And uh, that, again, that was a way for us to take all of the different carrier online affiliate links and putting them into one place for a consumer to have a more enjoyable experience so they can shop more than just one plan. So if you use like uh, just an Anthem link, people would only be able to shop Anthem. But putting them all in here in this system, they can shop around for different uh, options as well. Third is uh, also very, very important. This is selecting your plans, and this is actually what the consumers see. So you can control uh, what the employee, uh, not the employees, the, uh, the consumers actually get to see when they go to your website. So it's very important that they only get to see that the, one, the plans that you are currently appointed with. And I want to show you what that means uh, by clicking here. So in the settings, we, we checked on select your plans. Now we're in the ePro. Now remember, E is external. iPro is internal. So ePro, external, E, E for external. iPro is internal, I for internal. Just think of those two things. Uh, and we'll get to that in just a moment too. But something I want to show you for the ePro section, you want to make absolutely sure that you're only checking off the plans that you are appointed with that you want your clients to see. So here's an example if we do an health off exchange policy. So let's say you are not appointed with HealthNet of California, all right? Because this is checked on, if a consumer goes to your website right now, because this is checked on, they will be able to see HealthNet plans. And if they decide to enroll on a HealthNet individual plan, and that goes directly to the carrier, and you're not appointed because you didn't set it up in the application settings, because you didn't set it up with your agency ID, because again, you're not appointed, they will be able, still be able to enroll because you have this checked on. But you don't get credit, right? You don't get credit because your information is not being stamped and put on there before it actually goes to the carrier. So that's why you only want to show the carriers that you are currently appointed with. So if you're not appointed, you want to check that off. You want to check off everything that you are not appointed with. Now, if you are concerned about appointments, again, we will take care of this, but this is going to be after you've set everything up and everything is ready to go and you're actually able to uh, show your website to uh, consumers and you're able to do out outreach and say, hey, go to my website, go to my website. Uh, so we'll set that up once you are appointed, you know, once we work with you and get you the appointments, uh, we'll just be able to just switch these back on. You know, they, they toggle on and off all the time. The moment you're appointed with other folks, um, we'll, we'll make sure that these are checked on so that way it'll show up on your website. So, you know, uh, brokers that we work with, yeah, they're maybe appointed with two or three carriers, which is fine. And you just check on those two or three carriers and then your website is actually officially up and running. Uh, the iPro as well, you want to make sure that you do the same for iPro. Only deal with the ones that you're appointed with because, again, uh, internal iPro, uh, what that truly means is that what uh, you want to show the client if you decide to do any kind of um, quoting. So if you do get a consumer or if you do get a client that wants to r have you run some quotes, you can do that, uh, but you really only want to show them the things that you're currently appointed with. So you want to switch those on as well. So if you're in the state of California, you have your health off exchange, turn off everything that you're not currently appointed with. So that way, when you do run a quote, which we'll get to in another video as well, um, that way, when you do run that proposal, it's only going to show the ones that you're currently appointed with. And uh, yeah, that's actually, that's pretty much it. It's just checking off all of the plans that you're not appointed with. That way, the client can't see it. All right. So to conclude, we've gone through three major videos here. Um, and it's really, really simple, but it's so, so important because we need to make sure that 
you have a website that's up and running, everything's connected, and then uh, you can pretty much just share that website once you're, you're up and running. And in order to get up and running, we need these three things to be taken care of. Again, we go into settings, we have the agent of record IDs, which it's just popping in all of the carriers you're affiliated with, putting in your, in your NPN or your TIN or your social security number, Department of Insurance, uh, insurance license number, just copy and pasting that with all of the carriers you're appointed with. Then you go back to settings number two, the online application settings, where we add each of the carriers that you're appointed with. And some of those might have the affiliate link links that uh, we, we uh, again, went over. So that way you log into the broker portal website, you grab that specialized website link and you just dump that into here. And then finally, what you want the clients to see, and that's selecting your plans. Checking off only the things that you want the client to see. Anything that you are not appointed with, you want to click that, that uh, button and make sure that it is off so they don't see it. That way your website is up and running as it is right now with your current appointments and you can start uh, you know, making sales that way. And then as more revenue comes in and as you have more time because you're really just say, saying, you know, go to my website, go to my website, go to my website with everyone you talk to, then you talk to us about appointments. And every time that you want to get an appointment, we will help you out. We just check it on, check it on. We go through each of the carriers. We'll check it, check it on. If you want to get appointed with anything on exchange as well, just let us know. Oscar Molina Health um, as well as LA Care. We'll just check those on as we move through the process. And we want this to happen organically. But the first thing we want to do is get your online storefront up and running. So that's that's our main concern. All right. So again, so we went through all three videos. Uh, if you do run into any problems, uh, rewatch the videos. There's a couple of talking points in the description. But also reach out to us if you're having some issues. But again, it's very important that you get these things done and we'll talk in more in the conclusion video of why these things are so important. All right, on to the next one.